Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am back for part two of lies, lies, and more lies. Now, <clears throat> I do want you all to realize that I take it very seriously when I call out somebody and say that their word is not from the Lord. Because I know that Acts 2, 17 and 18 says, For in the end days I will pour out my spirit on all mankind. Which I think should say, And if they accept me, then... <laughs> But it, but it doesn't. It says, I will pour out my spirit on all mankind. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. And on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy. So I totally believe in prophecy. And I know that a lot of people are hearing from the Lord. But that's why we have to have wisdom and discernment from the Holy Spirit. So we can know what lines up with scripture or at least goes directly counter, contradicts, contradicts it. Okay? This one's a doozy. It's worse. But anyway, I'm going to read at least part of it. But I'm not going more than 30 minutes. Okay? If that long. All right. <clears throat> now. In the beginning of it, uh, this is also called a prophetic word by my spirit through my bride. And the, the, the name of the channel is on here. I didn't notice that before. So this is not the name of the channel. A prophetic word. Know who I am through my bride slash wife. Whose name is Deborah, saith Yehoshua, who is the Christ, meaning the anointed one, unto the ancestors of the Gentile nations slash nationalities of the world called mankind, and unto the ancestors of the Jews slash Jews that did not receive me, when I came unto them, I am Yehoshua HaMashiach, but who I am not is Jesus slash Yeshua slash Yah Yahshua, comma, in whom this world have received instead of me, saith Yehoshua, for I am not Jesus slash Yeshua, nor am I Yahshua, in whom they had replaced my saving name with. I just want to say, oh brother, Jesus has many names. And Jesus told me in a message that we, can, we grew up calling in English, calling him Jesus. So he knows who he is when we call upon the name of Jesus. And that's who I call upon, and I will continue to call upon the name of Jesus. Throughout my father's holy scribes slash scriptures, when I left your world age, which was also when your free will test had begun, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the father scriptures. There's some direct overlap there. Yahshua slash Ashua slash Joshua 24, chapter 24, verses 13 through 15. Now I have prepared my bride who have made herself ready to come unto the churches to testify unto them of who I am. Through my name, saith Yehoshua, for no man had taught her but me. Through my spirit, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the Father's scriptures. That again, no apostrophe S, it's capital, all caps, Father, and then the word scriptures. And that they're saying is in Second Timothy 3. 
15 through 17. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> I'm going there. Let me put my tea down. 2 Timothy. Oops, I went to the weather instead. 2 Timothy 3. Oh, what was that again? 15 through 17. 15. All right. Now, this is in the King James Version. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. That's the scripture I was trying to think of the last video. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect through that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Shouldn't it be thoroughly? Hold on a minute. Let me go to NASB. And that from childhood you have known the sacred writings, which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. So remember that. All scripture is inspired by God. Verse 17. So that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. All right. Back to the email. This person says, Now I have prepared my bride who have made herself ready to come unto the churches to testify unto them of who I am through my name, saith Yehoshua, for no man had taught her but me. Her is not capitalized. Me is through my spirit, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the Father scriptures. And he uses 2 Timothy 3, 15-17 as the reference. They say nothing at all alike. For I have prepared her, and now I am sending her unto the ancestors. Why? They're dead in, in heaven or hell. Oh, this just makes no sense. I just might as well tell you straight up. Anybody that wants this can have it. It's from the channel called Out Ones 777. I, I mean, this is ridiculous. It, they say something and then say it comes from a scripture. Okay, then, now I have prepared my bride who have made herself ready to come unto the churches to testify unto them of who I am through my name, say, saith Yehoshua. For no man had taught her but me through my spirit, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the Father's scriptures. And that's 2 Timothy 3.15. No, it's not. For I have prepared her, and now I am sending her unto the ancestors of the Gentile nations, or slash nationalities, of the world, called mankind, to testify unto them of who I am. So he's going to send his bride, named Deborah, to the ancestors of the Gentile nations. What good is that going to do? None. None of this makes sense. Who could read this and possibly think it was real? I mean, anybody with any um, 
experience in, in the Word, who knows the Word. That's why there's still new, new people coming on. And you may know some new believers that you could share this with and, and, but explain to them all the lies in it. Or just warn them of the channel. I mean, people need to know what not to believe as well as what to believe. It's not all cut and dry, but to me this is. But I've been in the Word for a lot of years. Let me read you this part. Oh, brother. And then he quotes Revelation 22, Song of Solomon 1, 1 through 6, Song of Solomon 6, 6 9 through 10. New paragraph. For I, my Father, for I, my Father, or is that supposed to be I and my Father have prepared her for me before her mother's womb? So now Deborah had a mother. Where did she come from? Saith Yehoshua. For she is also known unto the Jews slash Jews as the daughter of Israel and unto the Gentile nations slash nationalities of the world. She is known as, quote, Bride of Christ, unquote, whose name is Yehoshua, who I am. For she has many mantles unto me, saith Yehoshua. Are you enjoying this pack of lies? For she has made herself ready, not only for me, for we are both coming from our wedding, saith Yehoshua. And I have sent her unto the Gentile nations slash nationalities of the world called mankind to testify unto them about who I am, saith Yehoshua, through my name. For I am not Jesus, Yeshua, Yahshua, in whom this world have taught you to believe that I am, saith Yehoshua. I am not him. No, you're not. You're of the devil. You are of your father, the devil. He says, and my, listen to this. And my father is not a God, in quotes, big or little g. He is our creator in whom we call Abba and not God, but Abba which means Father, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the Father scriptures. Galatians 4, 6. Should I look that one up? This is unbelievable. Invalid reference. Can't hardly see it. Okay, I probably typed 46. All right. Galatians 4, 6. Because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So yeah, Galatians 4, 6 does say we cry out, Abba, Father. But he's also called God in the same sentence. Unbelievable. For she, my bride, whose name is Deborah. Oh, now it's spelled differently. Now it's spelled D-E-B-R-A instead of D-E-B-R-A-H. And her covenant name is Deborah. It was spelled D-E-B-O-R-A-H. Showing you the A-H that is signifying the Holy Spirit through her, who is my bride, my wife, my spouse, who have made herself ready, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the Father's scripture. 
and they give the scripture Song of Solomon 5, 1 through 2, Song of Solomon 1, 1 through 6, Song of Solomon 6, 9 through 10. For she is also born a prophetess, and her title is Prophetess Deborah, the elect sister, in whom I have said to greet thee, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the Father's scriptures. Second John 1, 1 and 2, Second John 1, 9 through 13. Okay, have y'all heard enough? I'll send it to you. You can read the rest of it. It's talking about the Trinity. Wait a minute. And this is how you find me, for I am within my name. Oh, yeah, I got to read this. For she is my bride who have made herself ready, and not only for our wedding, which we are coming from now again, saith Yehoshua, for I have sent my bride slash wife unto the churches to testify unto them, which are not these building, I think they meant buildings, but the people who will make up the body of Christ, Yehoshua, who is the Christ, meaning the anointed one, unto the ancestors of the Gentile. <laughs> Brother, let me skip to this. And this is how you find me. For I am within my name. For my name is the narrow road that many will not find because of the lies and the traditions that have made my father's words of none effect, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the father's scriptures. Mark 7, 6-9, Mark 7, 13-16. I am Yehoshua, and these are the three names that are within my own name, which many of you call the Trinity, I call them the three names that are needed to bear record to my name, saith Yehoshua. Yah, Y-A-H, is the Father, whose name is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yoshua, the Word, who is also the Son. Ah, which is signified by the Holy Spirit. Remember Deborah? I'm ending it here. If y'all would like to have a copy of this, for whatever reason, to share with someone that you know who believes something kind of like this, I don't know. Is it useful information? It is for someone like the young man who sent it, for him to know Whoever made this up, I don't even think it came from a demonic entity speaking into somebody's head. This sounds like somebody that believes in the Hebrew Roots movement or something similar sat down and wrote this up and didn't even do a very good job of it. That is in my honest opinion. It's just, I mean, I could keep reading, but it's why? I'm ending it here. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over this pack of lies. And I pray for the person who did this. And that they will be convicted in their heart to not do it again. To stop, to repent, and to turn back to the real word of God. Even though there are errors, we know that. They've not, our English translations have not been translated perfectly. We can all admit that, even the King James. Nobody can say otherwise, truthfully. They all have some error here or there, which is why it's good to use the Strong's Concordance or some kind of Greek or Hebrew concordance for the original meanings and go through what they could have meant if you're in the <coughs> study. <coughs> Bo buddy, be quiet! Quiet! Well, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and my computer. And with that, I'll say bye for now. 
I will talk to you later. <laughs>